dirty. Wow. That's pretty gross. <laughs> so uh, about a couple weeks ago, we had an appointment to have the pool professionally opened and um, a couple of hiccups because it turns out we needed a new pump and then uh, needed an electrician to come to connect the pump to the line, uh, which is essentially was literally just running a cable from the pump to a plug, but you know, you wanna do things the right way. Um, and so now, because the pool company here locally is so backed up, so many people opening pools now because it's warm weather, it's pretty much summer. Um, they actually just gave me the go ahead to say, hey, here's the steps you need to take just to kind of get it started. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get it started. And hopefully this pool by like tomorrow or in the next two days, it'll be nice. So uh, I'm gonna show you what I've done so far. So here we go, here's the heater, there's the DE filter, that's the new pump. And uh, when I first ran it, what ended up happening is there was some water leaking a little bit, uh, which essentially, uh, this is the lever to control like whether it's set to filter or, you know, um, to rinse, waste, close it, all that stuff. Uh, and it has a little gasket, this little O-ring that is stretched out. So bought a new O-ring right here, gonna lube it up, gotta put some lube on it. So it's nice, forms a nice seal. Um, and then we're going to, uh, we're gonna put some DE powder, which is that stuff right there into the, uh, the skimmers. And then we also have some uh, chlorine shock for the pool to kind of get it going. So uh, here we go, let's see. All right, so it's been a few days since uh, you sat last saw me as I have tools in my hand. Uh, so this is the story. Um, I had originally put the pool in filter mode and I did a normal shock treatment, which was two pounds of shock for this roughly $20,000 uh, 20,000 gallon pool. Um, however, that's not enough shock, what I came to find out because this water was very dark. So um, the filter obviously got clogged. Uh, the pressure went up, so I had to empty out the filter. I didn't know how this whole thing worked. My dad and I were taking this thing apart and we realized we didn't need to take it apart. The DE filter, you just basically take the whole unit out and rinse it. Anyway, it was a little bit of a nightmare. There was bugs eating us up. It was dark, it was nighttime. Long story short, we were able to put it in and just leave the pool off because I didn't want to run it overnight on filter mode and then have it get clogged up again. So it basically sat for an entire day um, until today my dad uh, was able to come because I was at work and he put it in recycle mode, or recirculate mode, not recycle, recirculate. So that bypasses the filter and that's what I found. I, uh, thank God for YouTube because <laughs> I found somebody else, uh, very useful people on YouTube and somebody had a similar pool and they basically with a D filter and they just said, you know, leave it on recirculate and have the water recirculate as you brush it and add the, the shock. Now, another YouTube channel that uh, really helped out was uh, Pool University. Shout out to him. Um, because he basically says a pool like this that was very dark, you double shock it or even triple shock it. So that's what I kind of did. Because this, because the pool was sitting in the sun all day, uh, it was, you know, a lot of that chlorine was burning off. So now that it's cloudy, I basically triple shocked it or double shocked it because it was already semi kind of single shocked. So now it's kind of triple shocked in a way. And as you can see, like right now, it's still dark, but it's more kind of like a lighter green uh, and it's just cloudy, you know. Um, so there was some debris on top, I cleaned it, I scrubbed it again, and my dad uh, and my mom helped me kind of like, like, as I was scrubbing, they were kind of picking up with the net, a lot of the junk. Um, but yeah, that's, that's where we are right now. So now I have the pump running, I have the pump running in recirculate, 
I cleaned out the filter again so it's nice and clean and it's not being used right now. Again, I triple shocked it or kind of double shocked it or yeah, kind of kind of like triple shocked it. Um, and now it's gonna basically just recirculate for the next 24 hours. So tomorrow morning, we'll see as it does this all night, I'll see what it looks like tomorrow morning. Um, I think I may need to add something for the algae or maybe like a clarifier so that the water won't be as cloudy so I can actually see um, what's going on down there. Um, but that's where we are so far. Okay, so it is day, I don't even know anymore because <laughs> now this is technically day three of this pool thing. Um, so yesterday the pool ran on filter for pretty much most of the day. Uh, I, had, I still had it on recirculate for the early morning hours. And then um, I ended up adding more shock and then I put ran it on filter for most of the day. Every time the pressure on the filter, the DE filter would get higher than 20, I would um, do a backwash. So I ended up doing like three or four backwashes yesterday. Um, and then because I didn't wanna, I was afraid that I didn't wanna leave it overnight and have it, the pressure be too high. So then I, I basically left it on recirculate overnight. Uh, this morning I put it on filter for a little while, for like an hour or two, went to the pool supply place, got my water tested, and now, this is what we're gonna do. So this is what the pool is looking like right now. It's just, it's it's getting bluer and it's clearer, uh, but still very kind of like smoky. And from what I understand, that is a combination of the dead algae and also uh, hardness and certain uh, metals that are still in the water. So. What the, the, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do two of these, two gallons of this instant conditioner. It says easy pour liquid stabilizer, protects chlorine from sunlight and instant, the instant it's added to the pool water. So this is going to help the chlorine do its job in, in finishing up the job of killing the algae and clearing up the water. Uh, so we're gonna run it on this recirculate, dump these in the skimmer, run this on recirculate for two hours and then uh, they told me to then add a pound of shock, which is a powder, right into the skimmer again and run that. Uh, that'll help bring the chlorine levels to a better level where it could be more efficient. Then we're going to put it on filter, add some DE powder, and then they gave me, uh, here, let me show you. So this is our DE powder that we're gonna run every time we're running the filter. Um, I usually do like four scoops. It's a 48, uh, 48, um, anyway, the, the label on the filter basically says 48 square feet or whatever. So it's basically like just a, a pound per square feet or whatever. So uh, I'm gonna do four, I do four scoops just to be on the safe side. Not too much, not too little. But before that, this is where we're gonna put this entire bucket of hardness plus uh, for raising calcium hardness levels in pool water. Helps prevent damage to pool and equipment caused by soft water. So that, that's actually it, it's soft water. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna dump those in there. And hopefully after today, by doing all this, tomorrow, we should have a nice clear pool. I've been waiting to be able to see the bottom so that I can see what else needs to be scrubbed. Cause I, I, right now it looks pretty clean, but I don't know if there's any spots that still need to be scrubbed. So once the water is clear, I'll be able to do that. All right, so amazingly, the um, that water treatment conditioner, uh, two gallons that I put in, actually in less than an hour, it started to work. The water started to clear up. However, because it started to clear up, I can see a little bit the bottom. I started brushing it again because I know there's there's more gunk down there. So surely enough, as I'm as I was brushing it, all the gunk started to come up. So that's that's the green that you see there. So uh, once it's like two hours since I put that other stuff in. I'm gonna now uh, shock it again. And now, because the water has been treated, that chlorine, that shock should work more effectively. And, um, and it should kill off all that green. And by the end of today, we should have a clean, clearer pool that we can then work on and getting cleaning up the rest of the stuff that now we can see the bottom um, and then be able to run the filter overnight, so. 
Hey guys, so here we are. Uh, let me get a little away because I got some music playing. It's 4th of July, it's Sunday. I got uh, my father in law is in there watching a service on uh, a live service on YouTube. And uh, we are, I'm still at this. I'm still at this, guys. So the water was slowly clearing up, but I got the water tested again. And it turns out the phosphates were a little bit too high. And uh, oh no, the phosphates needed to go down and the metals needed to go down. So I got two treatments. I did the metals one first last night, ran it. I cleaned the pump. I did a couple of backwashes. So now the pump pressure is actually really good. It ran all night and the water did get a lot clearer. I could actually see the bottom. Um, so I could see the algae that was still stuck to the bottom. So earlier today, as my father-in-law was helping me put up the fence for the pool, as you can see there, uh, I was able to get the vacuum working and I vacuumed most of the visible uh, algae that I saw and gunk at the bottom, but I didn't get to do a lot of the stuff in the far end of the deep end of the pool because it's so deep that I can't even see the bottom because it's still a little foggy down there. Now I put the treatment for the, uh, the lower the phosphates and um, so now it's just running. So now the pool is basically running, pumping. I gotta keep an eye on the pressure. Um, but for, the, for that's basically, we were hoping that 4th of July weekend we were gonna be able to use the pool, but this is taking a lot longer. Again, this pool hadn't been used for two years and um, I don't think it was cleaned properly the last time they used it, the last time it was in use. So it just got really nasty. Um, so. We're just doing what we, what we can do. Luckily, it's been kind of like a cloudy, rainy weekend this 4th of July, so um, it kind of worked out because it's not hot, not too hot to be jumping in a pool, although I think it might get hot later. But I'll show you what it looks like right now. And hopefully, if everything works out during the course of this new week, we'll be able to get the pool perfectly clean and ready for use. And um, That'll probably end up being either this week or next weekend. So this morning, we woke up to a, the, the surprise that we can now see the bottom of the pool in the deep end. So it's still a little bit too cloudy for my taste, but it's definitely better now than it's ever been. And um, so the I had the, the, the filter, I had taken the filter out and I had um, the, the DE filter. I just basically took the entire thing out and hosed it entirely and just got all the, the old DE powder and gunk, just sprayed it right off. So once I put it back in, I pro you know was able to prime the tank again and it was able to run a lot more efficiently and it was more pressure. So I had I had it running like probably the all the latter half of yesterday and all last night and it shut off at 6 a.m. because I was I didn't want to leave it running too long because um, I was afraid if, if it got too much pressure, it, you know, um, I didn't want to damage, damage the system. But uh, I did that. And now this morning, uh, we saw that the water is less cloudy. You can see the bottom. So the the um, the clearing agent that I bought did work, and I'm gonna try some uh, the, the the rest of the dosage. I'm gonna do it tomorrow because it says you should do it every every two days. Um, and now I'm running the filter again, and the filter is gonna run for about seven hours today, um, and then it's gonna shut off so that when I get home from work, I'll be able to check it, make sure if it needs backwashing, I can backwash it, and then um, add some new DE, filter, DE powder, and then run the filter again tonight um, for eight hours. And at that point, the water tomorrow morning should be at, you know, a lot closer to being crystal clear. And then I'll just, I'll add the clearing agent tomorrow as well before I leave and run it tomorrow. So, or I might add it tonight actually and just run it tonight. So we'll see, but it does look better. Guys, after uh, an entire week of doing shocking and getting the, the water balanced 
and, you know, just running that filter and recirculating and cleaning the filter and adding more DE powder to the filter, I can finally see the bottom of the pool. You can see all around the bottom of the pool. Now, you see all, that, all those little piles of dark spots down there. That's just little piles of dirt that sink to the bottom that we need to vacuum out. And once we vacuum all that out and we circulate the water again through the pump, uh, this this bad boy is going to be crystal clear. So, so that just that dirt is just preventing it from being crystal clear. Uh, but I'm going to add once we get that gunk out, we're going to put a little bit of of algicide, just a tiny little dose, just like a maintenance dose. And that will kill off any residual algae in the water that might be causing some cloudiness. Uh, I mean, I don't know, I'm assuming. I'm, I'm no expert here. Um, we also have a, a clarifier that can probably get rid of the remaining little tiny bit of cloudiness there. Um, so, but all in all, man, I am pumped that this pool finally got clear. It's amazing. It's been a lot of, a lot of <laughs> trial and error a lot of YouTube videos, a lot of advice, but we got it. We got it where we need to be. Now, uh, now the only thing left to do is um, is enjoy it, and uh, and run. I'm gonna run the heater, figure out how to turn that thing on, and run the heater. Although the boys don't mind on these hot summer days, the water's been nice and cool. Um, yesterday I filled it up a little bit more to get it, you know, because I I did a backwash, so I had to refill it a little bit. Uh, but yeah. Looking good. The next project I'm going to do is is uh, paint this uh, this pool deck. I want to paint it, um, but the pool is ready for the summer. Finally, we get to enjoy this thing. So, guys, uh, thanks for watching this little journey of <laughs> my getting my pool ready for my new pool that we uh, that we got when we bought this house. Uh, getting it ready for the summer. Uh, if you found this video helpful, just my little journal, my little vlog about this, uh, please make sure you like and subscribe and check out some of my other videos. We have a lot of vlog videos and um, uh, not just pool videos. So, uh, but soon it's going to be all around just a dad working on his house and, you know, capturing it all on his camera. So I'm just a dad with a camera. Um, but again, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, check out some of our other videos. Uh, and go hop over to my wife's channel at Simply Made Fancy as well uh, because we got more content over there, how to's, DIYs, all that stuff. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Yay!